Nuoģi jau līvazēna akuzās lonot gālās. Āzēģi de vādu nenelo dinat dukā ne cultural restoration program, tkali hoa natu, cik na hoda lo diote. Nuohu nīza lade, la diantos dano kakua ue, ne oni ne de vada lata dano de vada lista jana, de gala negas, a hun devajas, ci na hodi ele, hun tko dago ne anogio. Sego so guego, gas ne gohe ni jungiats dano tkeli wanata ne akuzas ne de ojaks. Sego. Sego. No de jazajat. Da hau izo alo. What did you do today? Uh, today we facilitate it for the hunters and trappers at Ganehio Yungweat Dunhage, this facility that um, you see here. And basically, I'm with the horticulture department, and also I work alongside with Yedinalat de Dinyas, who is the um, traditional food specialist. And what we're doing today to help the hunters and the trappers um, with the skinning of their anogia cooking their anogia. We're introducing the vegetables for the dinner we're gonna have with it. And so basically we facilitated this place here at Gunny Hill um, to do just that. We work alongside the hunters and we will be in the future um, to protect um, our corn, our white corn, um, by utilizing the hunters and their traps so it keeps the population of those critters down um, from eating all our corn. So it's a good relationship we have and we're very fortunate to have this facility down here at Gunny Hill, uh, the cannery, cannery part to, to host um, this event and events that come up um, to process the meats, our traditional meats, our traditional foods that we eat. And um, they taught us how to take the glands out of the onogio, out of the muskrat, because the gland um, makes the meat a little bit bitter. So they taught us, um, being in traditional foods, muskrat being a traditional food, to take that out so our meat's gonna taste really good at lunchtime today. So that was our part yes yesterday and our part today is getting the vegetables ready um, to make the stew, to make uh, the food we're going to eat at noon today. Sergo, I'm the now. Yes. My Obama, this program. I got hired through the ACR program that just started last last year, I guess. And I was hired as a the master teacher of a trapper, trapper instructor. And I have four apprentices that I show. And, uh, <clears throat> we started trapping in October, October a couple weeks ago, that's this year. How to set the traps, uh, check the traps, catch the muskrats, uh, Skinning them, put them on a stretcher, drying them as they look like this. Some pretty product here. Three days, room temperature is 65, 70 degrees. And show them how to clean it. We got some uh, clean, ready to be cooked. And now I'm sure how to stretch it out. Stretcher. Slide on here. Once you get done skinning it, you take the excess fat off. You scrape it. It takes about. Well, I've been doing this for about 40 years, so it takes me like three minutes to skin a muskrat. Two minutes. How far do you think the apprentices came? Uh, some caught on pretty quick. Others are still learning how to catch on and stuff. It takes a while. It starts something. Uh, it takes a little while to practice. I do it all the time. Huh? 
Ja, Mann. Jo. Kajulani Johanine, 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 Kajulani. Und der Jesaja? Der ist unser Gute. Learning a lot from the uh, now. Uh, I never knew how to do this. Uh, skin a muskrat, skin a deer, but never a muskrat or a beaver. Would you say that you're pretty good at it now? Like with practice, you yeah. you can do it yourself now. Yeah, you tell me pretty good. Yeah, I want for sharing. Are you with? 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 Are you with?